Welcome to Freedom Christian Assembly. Amen. International Faith Ministries. Amen. Where we believe in giving God the praise. Amen. And all that's good. He is good. Mercy and good unto all generations. Amen. Hallelujah. Just thankful this morning to be missed. Amen. And we don't take it lightly. We don't take it for granted that we're here. Amen. Because we didn't have to be here. Amen. We planned to be here, but we didn't have to make it here. Amen. Amen. Many are our plans. Amen. But God knows. God orders the steps. God preserves us. He keeps us. Amen. He allows us to continue in his way. Amen. 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 If you will, get your swords out. So you turn to the book of Acts, the fourth chapter. Hallelujah. Amen. The song says, if you're happy and you know it, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. I just had a vision. Amen. Took me back some years. Amen. We used to sing that years ago. Hallelujah. Happy and you know it. See? I think it says your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. <laughs> yes, Lord. God is good this morning. He's yes, good to yes. us. Hallelujah. He is good to us. Allow us to be here to gather in his name one more time. Amen. Amen. We don't know about tomorrow. We know about right now. Amen. That's what we have right now. Amen. Hallelujah. We have right now. Amen. To give him praise, honor, and glory. Amen. To bless his name. To lift up his name. To exalt his name. Yes. To honor and adore him. We're going to begin at the 8th uh, verse. We'll read the 8th through the 12th. Chapter 4. Book of Acts. Everyone there? Amen. On two. One and two, let's read. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, You rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the important man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all. And to all the people of Israel, yes. that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes. whom ye crucified, yes. whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Hallelujah. Neither is there salvation in any other, Amen. for there is none other name under heaven given amongst men, whereby we must be saved. Amen. 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 He says, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name, there's no other name Amen. under heaven given amongst men. Whereby we must be saved. Salvation is in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Healing is in the name of Jesus. Yes. Deliverance is in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, we thank you, God. Thank you. God, we bless, honor, and adore you this morning. God, we call upon the name of Jesus. Yes. But there is no other name, God, whereby we know we can, must, and will only be saved. Thank you for the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus shed on Calvary cross. Thank you, God, that he raised, he was raised from the dead. Declaring your work, so God. Father, we thank you, God, that we're gathered here in that name, that wonderful name of Jesus this morning, God. We thank you for signs, miracles, and wonders. Have your way, O God, in the midst of this service this morning, God. 
Hallelujah. Cause increase, change, oh God. Deliverance, oh God. To come, oh God. Be manifest, oh God. Manifest your glory in the midst of your people this morning. Oh Father, even those that are listening by way of internet audience, God, and social media, bless them, oh God. Cause every heart to be made whole. Touch minds, oh God. Deliver, oh God, the captives, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, God. We thank you and praise you, God. We honor you this morning. There's none like you, oh God. None like you, oh God. We could search the whole world over and find there's none like you. None can do us like you, God. We just thank you and honor you and give you praise. Be glorified, be magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Give the Lord some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Lift him up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Song comes to mind. Something simple. But it's in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We have the victory. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. It doesn't Thank matter you, what you're going through. Thank you, Lord. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Thank matter what you Lord. see before you or what you, circumstances Lord. might exist. They're real. But God is more real. The name of Jesus is more real. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a way maker. He's a deliverer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nothing's too hard for him. Yeah. Nothing's yeah. too hard for him. Yeah. If you can believe, you can receive. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things are possible to him that believe. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's promised to yeah. deliver. Amen. He's promised yeah. to make a way. Yeah. We thank him. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have a victory. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say
pray that your life will never be the same. You should be able to talk in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
No matter how young you are, how old you are, we still need to learn to be thankful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you.
this time we take great pleasure Amen. and honor yes. to bring to you a man of man God and woman of God passes through his weakness. I don't have no wife. I know you to be a man of God. I urge you. Listen. Blessed by you. Amen. Thank God for using you. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Hallelujah. So we we stand here, we're here with great expectancy to hear what I said the Lord. Yes, Lord. To the people of God this morning. Amen. amen. So we thank you. We thank you for being here. We thank you for taking the time on today. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank you. Without further ado, we'll bring to you now, no other than Pastor and Prophet Joseph. Some of it's not going to make any sense, 
But the angel said, you obey God. Six months from now, you'll be in a financial place that's going to blow your mind. I don't know what you do for a living, but somewhere in your life, real estate is going to be part of what you do. That's what we're Yeah, the angel told me to tell you that the prayers that you pray before the Lord have significant weight. And the angel said, he showed me that you are an intercessor, but not just the intercessor who gets on their knees and has a specific time to pray, but you're always prayerful. And so the angel will say, you don't even begin to know how many things have been changed and altered because you've been available. But the angel says, one major prayer concerning a family member, and God says, I got you with that. He says, I don't need you to pray no more, I need you to praise. He says, every time they look like, they, they, this person looks like they're so far gone, but God says, I know them better than you know. I'm looking <laughs> out. He says, if I gave you a promise, and I gotta bring it back. <laughs> tell you, you have an anointing for broken men. Yes. Men that have come out of the joint, men that have been in the street. God's given you grace for them, but you've not seen yourself properly. And then it was about to reinvent how you see you. Matter of fact, you're about to get a revelation, a visitation of you. God's going to get ready to reveal you to you. And as you see yourself, you're going to say, man, Lord, I'm behind schedule because I was thinking what I was not. Now God's about to show you who you are. Yes. I also see somebody, I don't know who this is, that you're separated from, that you love, you're very concerned about them. But God said, I'm about to bridge the gap and fix the broken parts of the family that still hold some old things against you. This is your extended family. But they know I'm about to fix all of that. And those that despise you, and so he ain't no different. God said, I have him come sit at your feet. That's the word of the Creativity, but when the angel shows me, you've been fought a lot about that. You've been criticized a lot about creativity, and so you've taken some things and you just kind of put them in the box that I won't talk about and I won't do it no more. But the Lord said, Take you out the box. Every gift I gave you, I gave it to you. He said, he said, he said, I see a bunch of young ladies around. Side to you first, then you can shout, okay? <laughs> I see a bunch of young ladies around you who need you to mentor them. And so there's a book that needs to come out of you. It's like a book about, about mentorship for young ladies. And so the Lord said, I'm going to put you in the secular world. I see you in the secular world doing some motivational stuff. It, it, it won't be Christian in the sense that they won't want to hear about God. But the wisdom of God is, oh, what's this? Ooh. <laughs> and the Lord just took me back two months ago. Let me get out of here. He just took me back two months ago. Two months ago on a Thursday morning, 11 a.m., not back at 11.05 a.m., we prayed this prayer. We said, Lord, I'm tired of this. I don't know if I can take it no more. But the angel told me to tell you, I'm giving you grace to continue the race. Because when you see the reward, all the persecution you've had to take is going to seem like nothing. That's the word of the Lord.
got to preach on you. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank God for it. There's been premature death in your family. Some people have died before their time, but they don't say you are going to live long.
this house is going to grow and grow and grow. I ain't going to show you this. I see it going to the point that you're going to have to have two services on the same thing in one. Uh, in which I want to show you confirmation and validation and vindication for your years and years and years of labor and faithfulness. The angel said, I'm about to do something also in this neighborhood about properties. I see something like a halfway house or like a drug rehab place where the people can come who don't have any place to go owned by this church. The angel said, there's a brand new season coming, a brand new day, a brand new time, a brand new move, and a brand new visitation. Amen. The angel said, well done, good and faithful servant. You have pleased me. You have praised me. You have worshiped me. You have been a, a changer of this area. But the angel said, get ready for the next day, for the next season, and the next time. And the angel said, one of the key significant things that will indicate the next season and the next time is that the old season is not going to work no more. And so some things you have done in the past, you say, God, it just doesn't seem to work. It doesn't mean that it's failed. It simply means the season for that is over. And so the angel said, be ready for adjustment. Don't be like those who miss the next move. Don't be like those who don't pass the football to the next generation. But the angel said it's very, very critically important in this house to be prepared for the next generation. Yes. The angel said the next generation says things different. They wear different things. They look yes. at things yes. different. Yes. And the angel yes. said you cannot, you cannot command them to go back to your season. Yes. Yes. The angel said to stay adjusted to what I'm saying today. You will not be like so many houses that died because they want to memorialize an old way, an old That's season. Right. God said, I'm not the God of any time. Amen. God of all time. Hey, yeah. God of every yeah. single season. And there's yeah. no special season. The Bible says, say not that the old times were better than these, because you do not inquire wisely. There's nothing about better about the old time than this time. Mm -hmm. I'm the God of every single time. Yeah. And every single season. Yeah. And you'll certainly well. set the young people free. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 And they said, you won't do that. As you make sure you set the young people free. This that's house right. has longevity. Yeah, this that's house has right. legacy. This house shall, shall last for decade after yeah. decade yeah. after decade yes. after decade. And say, Lord, I send you this encouragement that you might know I found you pleasing, but I'm getting you ready for the next seat. That's the word of the Lord. Came to attack. They'd rather have been to worship 
The devil's got some back in your mind and your thoughts say that somebody. And so God just confitted them, which means he made them fight among each other. Yes. And Samuel the prophet, understand, Samuel was a seer. There's different levels of seer. But it was a raw seer. Open level, raw A, which means the seer that saw the open vision. Then you see like we typically see visions, which is the anointing of the imagination, the restoration of that which was lost in the human being. But he was the open vision seer, saw the open vision like he saw the natural. So Samuel didn't just come up with the idea to name a stone. He saw the fact that the stone yeah. meant something. Yeah. And he, he, he declared the stone's name is Ebenezer. Hitherto let the Lord help us. But to understand this, what was the significance of this? We need to understand prophetically what do stones mean in the mind of God. Mm. So let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, verse 14 through 16. God speaks to, in, in this chapter, this is a very, very important chapter uh, in the Bible as it relates to the creation. Uh, this chapter actually takes us back to what we want to call the dateless past. It takes us so far back that it goes beyond history, if you understand what I'm saying. This verse takes us back to what happened in the heavens, what happened in the spirit realm, when Lucifer at one time uh, had a position before God and he fell. So it gives us insight. Listen to this. God speaks to Lucifer and says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covers. So Lucifer covered. Yes. What did he cover? Some people say he covered God's throne. Why would he cover God's throne? Who's God, who's God got to be protected from? He certainly wasn't covering God's throne. No, Lucifer had a throne on the earth. It's a whole different teaching, but it's a true teaching. I have set thee so thou art the holy in the holy mountain of God. Listen to this part. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. So the Lord says to Lucifer, he said, you have walked up and down in the middle of the stones of fire. Mm -hmm. I read that verse for many, many years. I thought, what does the stones of fire mean? Was it hot rocks? I don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. and, okay, and one day I was sitting down with my wife and, and we were reading uh, a Bible that she had. And, and I got a revelation at what the stones of fire were. The stones of fire are a class of angels called the seraphim. Mm -hmm. The word seraphim, the prefix for seraphim is seraph, which means to burn. Mm -hmm. So when it said that Lucifer was up and down in the midst of the stones of fire, that meant he was in the midst of fiery angels. Mm -hmm. uh, are you with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can extrapolate from that that one of the prophetic meanings for, for stone is angels. Mm -hmm. Again, uh -huh. for angels. All right? Now, so we go back to when he says Ebenezer, the prefix there, even is stone. Neither is hell. So what are you saying? The angels that helped us. Amen. Did I lose anybody? The angels that helped us. No ministry can get 33 years without angels. Amen. You can't last 10 minutes without angels. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Everything. You may not have to believe it. And say it's spooky. But let me say this to you. There's uh -huh. nothing that can stand without angelic backup. Uh -huh. yes. 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 We're surrounded by angels every single day. Yes. 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 And any ministry that doesn't have the stones of angels to back that ministry Come up, on. cannot stand. Yes. Yes. It became so apparent during the pandemic. Come on. Somebody Come on. talked to me. Yeah. Uh, so many ministries didn't make it. Yeah. Uh, because there was no angelic backup. So what, what, what Samuel was saying, Ebenezer, he said, we are memorializing the angels of the God that took us here, that protected us, that got us through, that took us through that dimension that we could have never gotten through on our own. Yeah. That protected us from what we could not see. Yeah. Yeah. That was we feel like, felt like quitting. That brought money. Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't have finances. Yeah. Hitherto, after the Lord helped us. That yeah. angels yeah. that helped us. Yes. Now, as you study this out, the revelation of stones of angels is a, just a fantastic study. Let me just take you in a little bit of depth in this. Let's look at Exodus 28, verse 12. It talks 
talking about the ephod and the breastplate uh, that was on Aaron's chest. Yes. Yeah. And thou shalt put two stones yeah. uh, upon the shoulders of the ephod, the stones of memorial, yeah. unto the children of Israel. And Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord unto un his two shoulders for a memorial. So prophetically speaking, Aaron had stones and the ephod on his chest yes, yes. or on his heart. Mm -hmm. What that really represented is a specific angels that were charged to protect Israel. <laughs> and in the Old Testament, you had priests. Today, you have the apostles. Amen. Amen. Who have the ephod on their heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the stone, the angels, are listening to the heart of the apostles. You're listening to the prayers, the intercession, the heart, the dream, the oh, yearning yeah. of the apostles. Mm -hmm. But also later on, we see the Ephraim had 12 stones on it later on. Mm -hmm. Right? And the scripture says every stone had written into the stone mm -hmm. the name of the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes. 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 Symbolically meaning as an angel assigned to your tribe, to your home, to your family. Yes. Yes. Joshua wrote these words in the book of the Lord God and took a great stone and set it up there under an oath that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said unto the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness. Mm How -hmm. I many know a stone can't be a witness? Mm -hmm. A stone can't see. Mm -hmm. And a stone can't hear. Mm -hmm. But Joshua set the stone. Yes, he did. Oh, God. Come on. Just say, just say, set the stone. Set the stone. Set the stone. Setting the stone means that you are creating the angelic protection around your house. Woo, uh, glory to God. God now. Stone. Stone. <laughs> Whoso breaketh the head, the serpent should die. Yeah. Every male is directed by God to set the stone. 
Amen. Verse 22. Then Joshua said, Open the mouth of the cave. Bring out these five kings unto me. Out of the cave. And so they did. Brought forth these five kings unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem. Now watch this. Jerusalem at one time was called Jehus. Hmm. It was before it was repossessed. Understand? What the patriarchs did is it came to territories that had a certain name and they renamed it. Which means I cast out the old spirit. Come on! And assigned the new spirit over it. Yes. So bring them out. Because we're about to make a generational change. Yes. 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 The king of Hebron, the king of Jehuth, the king of Lashi, and the king of Elgin. The king of Tashman brought out these kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains and the men of war which went with him, Come here, put your feet upon the neck of this king. Woo! Oh, somebody shout. Yeah, and they came in and put their feet <coughs> upon the neck of them. Jesus. Wow. How many necks were broken? <laughs> Over 33 years. <laughs> Somebody say here too. Here too. The Lord helped us. And the Lord helped us. Just happened. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, God. After Josh, Joshua smote them, slew them, hanged them on a tree, and they were hanging upon the tree until the evening. And it came to pass at the time of going down of the sun that Joshua commanded, and they took them down off the tree and cast them into the cave where they had been hid and laid great stones off the maiden strong on the cave's mouth which remain to this day. In other words, that which troubled your lineage can never trouble your lineage. Stop. 
God in flesh. Mm -hmm. But there's a dimension of angels operating that transcends that. I got some angels that do some stuff that I cannot explain to you. There's no vocabulary, there's no language, there's no explanation for it. I just mm -hmm. do it for you if you can shout about it. So, oh yeah, now my God, I see. I heard the Lord say, if you, if you can learn to shout about what you don't know. It becomes crazy when it makes no sense. You know what I mean? I want to make sense to set you free. I want to make sense to meet your need. Somebody talk to me. Is our ways we understand we'd all be bound. Yes, we would. Yes, we would. Get to my church. I mean, so I mean. All right, so that's one revelation of angels, uh, of the stone. The second revelation of stones, Ebenezer, Ebenezer, is revelation. Stones represent revelation. Amen. This is the Matthew, chapter 16, verse 13 to 18. Then Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi. He asked the disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I am? Mm. The Son of Man. They said, Some say there are John the Baptist, Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered, said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered, said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed us unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So Peter got a revelation, right? Amen. Of who Jesus was. And I noticed what Jesus said. Also I say unto thee, thou art Peter, upon this rock, not the name Peter, but upon this revelation. Yes. Upon this revelation. Yes. So he called it a revelation, a rock, right? Amen. Huh. You hear that? Not Peter. Yes. But the revelation of who I am is the rock. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And the revelation of who he is caused people to be martyrs and be burnt at the stakes and never never deny him. Amen. So the second part is the revelation that helped us. Amen. Yes. Yes. Come on, come on. Thank you. This house could last without a revelation. It yes. Yes. It's here because 33 years ago a man had a revelation. Yes. Yes. Was that which kept somebody sustained and maintained yes. here with guys of what the situation was when the rain blew, when the people didn't come like they should have come. Say amen. Hey, 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 say amen. Somebody. Hey, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yes. The revelation helped us. Yes. Yes. Can I help with somebody? Can I help with somebody? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Acts. 26, 4 through 19.
You know, we got five spiritual lords. Jesus. Oh, we got everyone on the road. Mm. You haven't got time for me. I don't have time yet. But when you bring them revelations, yes. uh -huh. I've got to give you some revelation. Amen. Angel just took me back when we were 13 years old. 13, 14, and 15. There was a lot of trouble in your home. Uh, teachers and other people said what you were never going to be. But you lived under that. And you've never become what you could be. But God's about to set you free and restore to you every lost day, every lost year, and every lost Amen. month. It's coming back to you. You got a lot of talent and skill, but in a vision, I saw your talent and skill sitting over here like a chair, and you sitting over there. But ain't no something about to put your talent and skill back connected to you. Amen. And you're about to bring back all these lost years. That makes sense? Amen. Somebody shout it out. Shining around about me, and then with journey with me. I said, Wow, well, he's hit by light. Uh -huh. He's hit by revelation. Amen. When all, and when we were all falling to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the evil tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It's hard for you to kick against the pricks. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I'm Jesus. Who thou persecutest? But he said, Rise, stand upon my feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of those things which thou hast seen and of things in which I will appear unto thee. Departing thee from the deliver me from the people and from the Gentiles of whom I will now send thee to open their eyes and to turn them away from darkness Amen. to light. Yes. Finally he said to Cain of Ripper, I was not disobedient to the heavenly. Paul also said this. He said, when he fell down, he went blind. Mm -hmm. And said, and he saw no man. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? All the great teachers that he knew, he couldn't see it no All he had been taught, he couldn't see it no okay. All he had been instructed as a little boy yeah. in the Hebrew schools, he couldn't see it no more. Because he saw a light that was greater than the light he thought he had. Somebody talk to me. So the, the, the revelation. Come on. Okay, and Cooper, I wasn't disobedient to the heavenly vision. I, I got persecuted. I got beat. I, I, I was a night and day in the deep, but I had a vision. Yeah. Am I helping somebody in the house? Yeah. I was killed and resurrected. You know, read the Bible for the practice. He said, but I still had a vision. Come on. Come on. And the vision kept me going. Say amen, somebody. Amen. amen. 33 years kept the vision going. Say amen, amen. somebody. Amen. amen. Here's the two. Half the vision helped us. Yeah. Here's the two. Half the revelation helped us. Yeah. Somebody yeah. talk to me. Amen. Amen. Last part. Ebenezer. What I love about the Hebrew language is God gave that language to the Jews uh, as a vocabulary. And so it's so flexible. Within that uh, word Ebenezer is the word Ben. Mm -hmm. B-E-N. Mm -hmm. Which means sons of families. Yes. So the third thing is the sons of families. Mm -hmm. Amen. No ministry can last without sons. Amen. 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 Come on. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. No ministry could last without sons. Amen. I don't care how you are, how powerful you are, you need somebody to walk with you. That's right. That's right. I don't give you to raise dead people who've been dead for you. You still need somebody to walk with you. Yeah. 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 Talk to me. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And so I want to celebrate the sons and daughters of this house who yeah. stuck over the circuit for the years. Say amen, somebody. Amen. 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 You help the house get to where it is. Say amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Talk to me in the house. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Psalm 127. Yes, Except the Lord build the house. Mm -hmm. Lay that labor. Amen. 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 Yeah. 
except the Lord keep the city. The wise man. Wake up, buddy, man. It is vain for you to rise up early, sit up late, and eat the bread of sorrow. For so is given, so give it to the love of sleep. But to this, both children or men are the heritage of the Lord. And through the room is his reward. As arrows in the hand of the mighty, so are the men. See, the, the children of his house were the arrows. Ah, oh, God. The children of his house, the son, answered the enemy at the gate. Yeah. People came for the wrong reason. You yeah. look at them and say, they ain't come for the right reason. That's right. They came to find a woman, to find a man. Come on, talk to me. They came to look for position. Say this to the The sons kept the house. Yeah. Come out with somebody. Yeah. Number yeah. two, have the sons help us. Come on, put your hands up here. God's up for
Thank God for the word. Amen. Message of the word this morning. Yes, Lord. Man, man I, I had heard that you were original. <laughs> Thank God for you. Amen. Man, original. And original for you. 33 years. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's only one you, amen. 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 Can't nobody do you but you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. That's approved. Amen. Yes. Amen. This time we want to um, we'll make an altar call. Hallelujah. We know. Touch some areas. Amen. If there's any need. Hasn't been addressed according to the word. It's come forth. Amen. Now's your time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The one that don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and free part of their sin. Now is your time. Thank you, Lord. together with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, All is well, amen. We're glad for you. And we amen. thank God for you. And thank God for our social media audience. God bless you. Give the Lord some praise this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. for uh, this week. Freedom Christian Assemblies Bulletin Board, April 3rd. And it's offering time. Amen. Says if you would like to pay your tithe and offering with your debit card, please meet Sister Aisha Cott. She's here with to my right. In the Secretary's office, which is our far right. But you can also give by using the Giveify app, or you can go to our Facebook page, click on the Use app button, will take you directly to our Giveify page. Or you can cash app, dollar sign FCA1989, or by mail, P.O. Box 10368, Cleveland, Ohio, 44110. Contribution statements are available. You give me a Gilify, you should have received an end of the year email which included your statement for the year. You give me a Cash App, you can download your, your statement from their website or search FCA via the app and it will also give you a summary. Now, there will be Bible study on Thursday Intercessory prayer will begin at 6.30. Service and Bible study will start at 7 p.m. until Elder Debbie Lee will be mentioned. Amen. 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 7 o'clock. Amen. If you have any prayer requests, please write them on the note cards and place them in the request box. Or you can text our new number, 216-903. 1509 or email us at freedomchristian89 
at gmail.com. That's freedomchristian89 at gmail.com. Youth Church have begun having rehearsals for Resurrection Sunday. Rehearsals will be every Sunday? Yep. Sunday. Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Okay. This is Sunday as well as Saturday. Saturday as well as Sunday. April 9th. April, April 9th. Saturday, April 16th. From 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Elder Kim Sandals. Our apostles say thank you for your faithfulness to the ministry and coming out to celebrate freedoms. 33rd anniversary. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord some praise. <laughs> it's all this time. We are excited about what God is doing in the house and our escalation as a body. Stay the course, freedom. Love you, your apostles. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you too. Hallelujah. Amen. You all have your envelopes. When you're ready with your offering, let's stand and move. Bless offering and pray prayer of dismissal. down and bring your offering, you'll be dismissed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.
started our Thursday night Bible studies again, right? And so we have our prayer at 630. And so we're inviting you all to come on back home. Amen. Even those that are viewing us, still viewing us on FaceTime Live or FaceTime. Faith, that's, a, that's our family. <laughs> the Facebook Live, amen. We want you all to come on out on Thursday night as we begun Bible study again, amen. Let's learn and grow together. Huh? We got the word of the Lord this yeah. morning, amen. Yeah. And we just don't hear and not take action to it, right? Yeah. We put the things to work. Yeah. If God's changed our church, let us change us by the reading and the study of the word of the Lord, amen. 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 So thank y'all so much for your commitment to the ministry. Most gracious and heavenly Father, God, we thank you. God, we bless you. We honor and adore you. God, we have nothing of ourselves to give, but you have given unto us. Such as we have need of, oh God, we thank you, God, for every gift. Every gift and every hand, God, every heart, oh God, has given accordingly, oh God. Those that don't have to give this morning, God, we thank you, God, for the blessing of the Lord. We will remain rich, oh God. In the name of Jesus, they might have to give at other times. God, thank you, God. Thank you. Bless it, oh God. Cause increase to come, oh God, like never before, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Be every need, oh God. Supersede. We decree there be no lack. In the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, God, for this occasion. We thank you, oh God, for the opportunity to give, to sow our seed. God, we know that we don't sow in vain. We're sowing unto good ground. Father, we thank you, O God, for every part of that. Cause increase, O God, as we continue to walk before you, as we continue to heed your will and your way, O God. Listen to your heart, O God. Obey your word, O God. Thank you, O God, for your goodness. Thank you, O God, for your fresh revelation, O God. Thank you for your direction, O God. O God, thank you for prayers answered, O God. Thank you, O God. Thank you for healing, O God. Deliverance, O God. Thank you for minds regulating, oh God, we come against every contrary spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that would hinder us from doing your will, God. We thank you for, for the angels, oh God, that are with us, oh God, have gone before us, oh God, that await our command, oh God, their ministering angels, the ministering to those who are of salvation. That would be us, oh God, we thank you, oh God. Thank you, God, that you're keeping us, God, you go with us, oh God. Father, even as we leave this place, but not your presence, God. Be glorified, be lifted high, oh God, be exalted. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. When you count yourself as this, tell us somebody before you leave. Oh, everybody say, Land, land, land.